Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe After Effects CC tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can add objects and videos onto the wall or ground in your projects. So I've got this clip open in my project media bin, and I'll click and drag it onto the timeline to create our new composition. Now you can see this is the perfect example of the type of clip you want to use. There's some 3D motion and movement happening with the camera. The camera is moving through space and time and it's also looking around and there's some nice walls and ground planes that are clearly defined for us to use. So what we want to do is go into window and open up the tracker panel if it's not opened. I'll find mine on the right hand side here and you can see tracker and what we want to press is track camera. This is going to go through every frame and it's going to track points on the ground and the wall for the camera to stick onto. So you can see this is a relatively short clip of 268 frames, so it shouldn't take too long. And you really want to only be doing this for special moments where you want to place a video on the wall or an object on the wall, like in an intro or an outro. So once it's done analyzing, you should see all these different colored points on the ground and the walls for you to click around and you should see a red target appear, which is going to give you a preview of the perspective and plane that you can use. So if you click between several points, it'll triangulate a position between three points. Or if you click on one actual point, then you can just stick on to that point. So what I'm going to do is let's use this wall right here. This is a nice open space and I'll right click on this. And now if we were creating a text object, we'd choose create text. I have a full tutorial on that that I did before this, so I'll link that afterwards. But in this one, we're going to choose Create Solid and Camera. This is going to allow us to create a composition that sticks on the wall, and then we can insert whatever we want into that composition. So there's a blue solid that sticks on that wall just so we can kind of see. Think of it kind of like a green screen, but not really. And then let me move forward and I'll create another one right up here. I'll right click Create Solid and it'll create another colored solid for me to see. So I have two points now that are sticking on the wall, and what I want to do is edit the contents of what's within these to be whatever I want. So let's right click on this blue track solid and open it up in the pre-compose menu. This is going to allow us to edit the contents of it. So I'll press OK, and then I'll double click on it, and you should see it open up in its own composition menu here, and we can adjust all the layers and contents within it, kind of like a Photoshop file. So I'm actually going to delete this blue placeholder, and I'm also going to go to Composition and adjust the composition settings, because I'm going to import a 1920 by 1080 video. I don't want it to be a 1080 by 1080 box. So you can adjust the settings of this box to be whatever you want. Now I have my blank canvas that's stuck on the wall. And what I'm going to do is go over to my desktop. I have this file on my desktop, which is my animated lower third intro that I just keep on hand. And I'm going to click and drag that into this project. Alternatively, you could have also just had all of these ready in your project media bin and then clicked and dragged it in from there. So once I'm set with this, I can close it and go back to my original composition and I should see the blue color replaced by that new composition I made. But there's still a few final adjustments that I should make because you can see it's kind of off center and a little bit too small. So what I'll do is I'll drop down this transformation menu on that composition and I can adjust things like the scale to make it big enough to where it's visible. And I can also click and move it down a little bit and then adjust perhaps the X, Y, or Z rotation and I'll put it back so it matches up with the angle of the ground. Also remember you can add keyframed effects to any of these adjustments like the opacity or you can even adjust the blending mode if you want to mix things into the background a little bit better. So once I've adjusted things to my liking, I can play it back and see how it looks and you can see we've placed it and it still motion tracks in however we place the video file in. Now let's do the same thing with this other track solid. I'll right click on it in the composition layers, I'll pre-compose, press OK, and then I'll double click on the track solid layer that we just put into pre-compose mode. I'll go into composition, change the composition settings to 1920 by 1080 because I know that's the size of the video that I'm going to drag in. Press OK. I can delete that green track solid if I want. And then I'll either go to my project media bin where I have a video ready, or again, I can go to my desktop, find the video that I want to use, click and drag it in, 
add whatever else effects or th things that I want in this composition. And then when I go back to my original composition here, I should see it stuck on the wall. But again, let's open up the transform menu, adjust the rotation of it a bit so it's aligned how we visualized it, perhaps adjust the scale and placement of it. And then we can go back and play it and we can see that everything is attached to the tracking points like we set it. So that's how you might see guys like Fun for Louie do their cool intro in their vlog where the splash intro is attached to parts of the video. So that's how to 3D motion track and attach any type of object or video composition onto the wall or ground in your videos. And if you missed the tutorial on how to do 3D motion track text, it's essentially the same exact thing, but I have a full video on that if you need. So if you like this video, definitely leave a like on it. Let me know what you thought in the comments and make sure you subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for all new future videos. You can follow me on social media at Justin Odisho on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all that. If you want to send me a message, reach out to me or show me an example of something. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.